Hey there, my name is Lexi and thank you so much for joining me for another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust two different types of mic stands, so let's take a look at what we're working with. This first microphone stand we're going to be looking at is known as an overhead with an extra little boom where the mic is mounted, an adjustable arm or boom for various angles, a collar for height adjustment, and a locking wheelbase at the bottom. The other type of mic stand, which is in its compressed form right now, is known as a tripod boom with three legs for a base and an adjustable arm or boom. Starting with the overhead mic stand, you'll notice that the base has wheels which can be locked to keep it from rolling around. Further up, there's this thing next to the headphones hook that's known as an adjustable collar. Twist it to adjust the height of the mic stand. Above that is the knob to adjust the boom or the arm, whichever you want to call it. And the last part is the knob for the mini boom where the mic is actually mounted. So looking at this mic stand in its entirety, there are three main places to adjust for your liking. Starting with the adjustable collar, you want to get a tight grip on the adjustable collar and a tight grip on the part above it where you're actually going to be determining the height. You're going to twist the adjustable collar until it's loose, adjust it to a height you want, either tall or short, and then twist it back tight to make it stay in that position. To adjust it back to its original position or another way, have a firm grip on the main pole and you're going to loosen the adjustment collar and adjust your mic stand down or up and then twist the adjustment collar back so it stays in that position. The next part we can adjust, we're going to look at this little knob that affects the tilt or angle of the arm or boom of the mic stand. And you'll notice there's a little weight at the end here that helps to control the swing of the arm. So you're going to loosen this little knob and you'll see that as I loosen it, the arm becomes very flimsy and the arm can move in, I think, 360 degrees up and down. But there's that little weight at the end, which I think is about five pounds that keeps the arm from swinging all over the place, which obviously could damage your microphone. It helps keep the center of gravity for the entire mic stand and for that arm. So I'm going to get the arm to an angle or tilt that I like and tighten that knob for my boom to stay in position. Again, to adjust it, keep a nice firm grip on the arm, loosen the knob, and then the arm will become free to swing in different directions. Another thing, if you want to change this from an overhead to a regular upright standing position for your microphone, you can actually tilt the arm left and right to twist it, and you can adjust the length of the arm by pushing it out or pulling it in to where the knob is. And once you get the length you want, the tilt, and the angle that you want out of your arm, tighten it back and you're all good to go. The last part we're going to look at is the mini boom where the microphone is actually mounted. There's another little knob here where you can actually adjust this little boom. Get a nice firm grip where your mic is mounted, loosen that knob, and now you can see that I get some slack and I can adjust the length of this little boom and I can twist it the same way we did with the arm. I can adjust the tilt and the angle with this as well. So again, you can go from an overhead mic boom to adjusting your mic to be a nice upright position if that's what you want. Once you get it to the angle, tilt, and length that you want, tighten that knob again and the position should hold and you're all good. The other mic stand we're going to be looking at is the tripod boom mic stand. It's like the overhead mic stand, it's just a bit more compact and more easily stored and put away compared to the overhead. But all the parts and the places to adjust it are exactly the same. Starting with the base of this tripod boom, you'll notice there are three legs. You want to pull these legs up, pull them all the way up and pop them up as far as they can go. Now you want to twist it around to see the little knob. You're going to twist it to loosen and you'll see that the piece where the legs are connected starts to loosen and it's going to drop down. Let it hit the floor. Good. Now you have to wiggle the mic stand around a little bit to make sure you have a nice sturdy base. Once you feel that the base is solid, tighten up that little knob and now you have a strong tripod base. The next part, just like we had on the overhead mic stand, on this straight pole we have an adjustable collar. Get a nice firm grip on that straight part at the bend of the arm, 
Then you can twist the adjustment collar to make your mic stand tall or short. Again, once you get it to a height that you want, twist it back tight and that position should now be held. Now let's talk about the tilt of the arm, which is the same as the overhead, except on this one, we don't have one knob that affects the tilt, length, and angle of the arm. We have two parts, the one that I'm pointing at right now and this silver piece on the other side. This is a little pin with two balls on the end to weigh it down when it's upright. You're gonna pull that pin halfway through so you have a nice grip for your fingers to hold on to. Then you're gonna twist it so your arm gives you some slack. And now you can tilt it up or down or left or right. Get it to a nice little tilt that you want. And once you find it, push the pin back to the center again, get a nice grip, twist it back tight. And I like to make mine straight up and down just because I like it to fall nicely and you're all good. Now, looking at the other side of the arm, we have this little knob here that you can untwist. This will help you adjust the length of the arm so you can make it nice and long, or you can pull it to make it short. It also adjusts the tilt or the swivel, so once you get it to the length you want, tighten it back. This piece on the end is a little star that helps mount the microphone and acts just like a screw with the threads that the mic will screw onto. You can actually twist that star piece all the way up as far as you need to to meet where the end of the microphone is gonna screw in. It helps keep the mic pinned on by twisting it all the way up to meet that microphone. An easy way to screw your mic on instead of swinging your mic in a circle around the top, you just twist that little knob and now you can freely adjust the rotation of the arm. You would hold your microphone in place, then twist the arm until your mic is tight and secure. Twist the little star to meet it and secure the mic even more. So lastly, to break down this mic stand into its compact form that we started with, the process is the same as opening it up. You wanna make sure you adjust your other parts to be straight along the pole. The legs are the last things that need to be pulled in. Look at that little knob, twist it until it's loose. Now the junction where all those legs connect, you can pull it up, get a nice grip on it, pull the legs down, then allow the legs to hit the ground to make sure your pole is even with them. Once all the legs are down, push the pole as far as you can, tighten the knob. Your mic stand is back to being compact and easy to store. And that's it. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate your time. If you found this video to be helpful, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when a new video comes out. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment in the comment section below, or you can email me at info at LexiATL.com. That's right. But again, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Lexi. Until next time, peace. Even though we're not the ones in that booth, we have to be extremely understanding of what artists face coming into the studio. Before an artist really starts to get to know you and before you both really start to get to know each other's work habits and work ethics, you're a stranger to that artist. What if that artist is recording